Hi, I'm Crystal. Welcome back to our CDRFI video series. In recent decades, we've seen an increase in the frequency and severity of weather-related events. It is therefore important to understand these risks, anticipate natural hazards and potential impacts, take measures to reduce risk, and implement early warning and preparedness. But how do you build resilience to natural hazards? Through integrated climate risk management. Integrated climate risk management refers to a systematic approach to reducing disaster risks. It involves anticipative, absorptive, adaptive, and transformative actions that address climate change impacts. The framework focuses on the risk drivers, capacities, and assets, as well as the enabling environment of individuals and communities. ICRM takes a holistic approach to building society's resilience to natural hazards and is comprised of five points. First up is prevention. During this process, risk analyses are conducted, exposures and vulnerabilities are identified, and the impact of extreme weather on the economic sectors are assessed, which include agriculture, the private sector, and individuals. For example, Governments can create and enforce land use policies to hinder the development of flood-prone areas. Furthermore, climate-proof infrastructure such as dams and seawalls can be built. Secondly, retention and transfer. Despite the use of these preventative measures, some residual risks remain. So, it is necessary to invest in pre-arranged financial mechanisms that facilitate risk transfer. This can be through financial products such as insurance that can be used to safeguard your holdings and manage the impacts of natural hazards. Governments can also decide to share some risk and use their own resources for set-asides and emergency funds. Thirdly, preparedness. Whenever extreme weather events occur, the capacity for responding to and recovering from the impact is needed. Early warning systems can be established by government agencies, and individuals can be trained in rescue and emergency services. Fourthly, response. Natural hazards can have a devastating impact on nations, financially and potentially fatally. Providing relief should be timely to save lives, meet temporary needs, and through prearranged financing, such as insurance payouts, can provide support for response efforts. Lastly, recovery. This phase of ICRM focuses on rebuilding. The goal is to reduce vulnerability and prevent future impacts to make societies more resilient in the long run. These factors combined can contribute to improving the resilience of our societies and making them more sustainable. Are you clear on what ICRM is? Stay tuned for more. Please visit the Caribbean Policy Development Center's Risk Resilience Hub for more details.